Hey everyone, we are continuing the series talking about entities and taxes and corporate veils and all that stuff that I'm never going to answer and let the experts the take stuff. care. Yeah, the fun stuff. So we're bringing back Mike Georgie to the show. How are you doing, Mike? Excellent. How are you, sir? I'm doing very well. So this is going to be the third video we're going to do today. It will all be downloaded and uploaded sometime today. Given bandwidth, I'm guessing all three of these will be up by five Pacific, but they will be up as soon as possible. But the second most question I get is, how many, in, how many properties to put in an LLC? Um, I think there's a lot in that question, um, but I'm going to let you answer first before I give my biased answer. Why don't you go ahead and tackle that? You got it. Well, first, what everyone's going to tell you, most of uh, the attorneys out there will say, you know what? You need to put one property in one LLC. So you need a property, an LLC for each property. I absolutely don't subscribe to that nor do I subscribe to the idea that you want to put all of your entities or all your uh, properties in one LLC. That's not a good idea either. The reason why it's not a good idea to put all of your properties in one LLC is because if that LLC is sued, what will happen is that all of the properties owned in the LLC will be at risk. Yep. And, and that's basically what would happen. And so if, you're gonna have multiple properties. Here are the questions to ask yourself. A, what amount am I comfortable with being in the LLC if it were to be sued? Mm -hmm. So if I have three properties and each one of them have $2,000, $200,000 worth of equity, and I'm only okay with having $400,000 of equity in that one LLC, then I need two LLCs. I can put two properties in one LLC, and I can put one property in another, and that's going to make or reach my threshold boundary. Um, so, so that's the first item. What are you comfortable with? How much equity do you want to have in the property or the entity itself? And what are you willing to lose? That's where the question. The yeah. second part is the characteristic yeah. of the property. Mm -hmm. Let's say you have multiple doors. Let's say you have a multiplex or an eightplex or an apartment complex. If I'm an apartment complex, I'm not going to put in an LLC with you know single family residents. It's just not going to happen. And so you need to take into account how much equity is in the, the actual uh, entity itself with all the properties. And then B, what kind of properties am I putting in here? I feel a lot more comfortable putting three fa single family residents in one LLC than putting three uh, multifamily, multiplex uh, residents or properties into an LLC. And so it comes down to your comfort level, risk assessment, and then basically how you want to move forward and what the eventuality is of the actual property. Are you going to rent it for a long, long time and grow the equity? You might wanna start off with that in mind first. Are you only gonna have the property for five to 10 years and you watch the, uh, the market like Mike does and you might move out of it or what have you? Then you may need less entities. So those are the three criteria on that we follow to advise our clients on how many properties they should have per entity. Yeah, so I'm, pleasantly surprised that we agree on everything. And I do believe it starts with number one. Number two and number three are subtleties that I think about, but most people never get to. Um, so I'm glad you bring <laughs> right. those up, right? Uh, because you know, right. some people are going to be in this business for a while. It's going to be more than just four single family homes, which is what I preach. So yeah, question two and three are, are awesome. Question number one is the real question. It's not how many properties do I put in an LLC? That is not the question. The question is, how much do you want to risk? And by risk here, it is equity, right? If you exactly. own a property free and clear, if you own two properties free and clear that were worth half a million bucks each, just for shits and giggles, do you put that in one LLC and potentially risk all million bucks? Or do you have two entities in this simple example and you risk 500 grand? Or do you have 10 properties that have $5,000 in equity because you did some kind of owner financing or whatever. And, you know, you want to put them in one LC? Fine, right? You're not really risking that much when you consider the, the legal costs and all this stuff to go after something. There's nothing there. Yep. This, this exactly. is a risk. It's not a numbers question. And I am convinced some attorney somewhere started that because they know that it sounds sexy. You got eight properties, <laughs> eight LLCs. I freaking hate that. I think there's too many rotten apples in this business. And that is, that is hurtful to people to just say, you have eight, get eight. That is wrong. You have no idea what their equity position is. Stop for a minute and ask some questions. Uh, that's what I think about that. 
You know, and I think you're absolutely right. I think uh, some attorney had tried to make it sexy. Mm-hmm. And you know what, what I've seen that actually do to people is a, I mean, we're talking panic at the end of the year, if they have, you know, too many entities, then they're, they're ready for or that they really should have. They don't have any of their minutes resolutions done. They have no idea what taxes to file. They have no idea how to pay out of different companies for different things. They normally don't segregate it very well. And so unless you're ready for that kind of structure, it really does you a disservice, A, from an anxiety standpoint, B, from a monetary standpoint right now, and C, from a monetary standpoint later. Because eventually, you're going to realize that you have set up too many entities, and you're going to start closing them down, and that's going to cost you money too. Again, I am so glad we're doing this because it pisses me off with all these people talking about multiple levels of entity. And again, we're talking about people that are following my approach, getting four rental houses. We're not talking about apartments. We're not talking about multi-states. We're talking, I'm going to buy four rental properties in one city and I'm done. You don't need 17 freaking entities to do that. You are, you are wasting your money up front. You are create, you are actually creating, if you do, if you create up, if you have four properties and you have 17 entities, just to use a silly example, you have no protection. Because you are not doing the blocking, tackling to create the separation of entities. You're not doing, you're just not, and you're, you're fully at risk. You've done nothing except waste time and guarantee risk. It's just the stupidest thing I've seen. Exactly. Exactly. I can agree more. Awesome. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I'm glad we're able to do this and help people. Uh, I'm going to uh, call this video number, well, video number three, two in our series, post the introduction. And uh, we will close this down and we will set up the next day. All right. Hey, thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. All your viewers out there, happy real estate investing. Thanks, buddy.